avoid hard things. You know, the kind of things that feel uncomfortable or that scare you. So do you, for instance, avoid going to the doctor or getting a colonoscopy <laughs> or handling your finances, going to a financial advisor and handling that? I get it. These are things I do not like to do either. I should have gotten a colonoscopy, I can't tell you how many years ago, and I, it's on my to-do list all the time, <laughs> and I don't go. Today, my husband and I had to go see our financial advisor. We had to make some decisions, there had been some changes, and it's like, you know, you'd think we'd want to manage our money, but no, we're avoiding things that feel tough, that feel confusing, that feel uh, stressful, that feel like big decisions. And the thing is that you can't avoid them. There's a decision I've been trying to make for I don't know how long, a uh, long time, well over a year. Can you believe that? And I keep trying to get clarity and I keep trying to deal with it and it's scary and it hurts, you know, it's emotionally tough and, and so I avoid it. And maybe I don't avoid it, but I'm just not going there. And, you know, I'm really not sitting down and saying, I have to make a decision now. So we avoid all kinds of things that feel hard, scary, painful, and yet that's what life is. Life is a series of decisions. Some of them are easier to make. Should I have ice cream or not have ice cream? <laughs> It's one I deal with all the time. Should I have the ice cream? No, it's not good for me. Oh, you need to lose weight. But it tastes so good. So, what decisions are you avoiding? Because the fact is that every time you make a decision, you move yourself forward. Even if you're leaving something behind, you're still moving yourself forward towards something new. And so, it's really important for you to make decisions. Change happens in the moment that you decide. As Tony Robbins says, it happens in an instant with a decision. Then it's up to you to take action to keep moving forward, to, to actually act on that decision. Do I eat the ice cream? Yes. Awesome. I'm going in the kitchen to get that ice cream. <laughs> Should have been the other way. I'm not eating that ice cream, <laughs> so I'm going to stay put, right? Or I'm going to call the doctor and make an appointment. So I've had um, something medical that's been um, concerning me and uh, I, I avoided talking to the doctor about it. Well, I went to the doctor, I've been referred to someone else, and I'm going to see what this, this is, whether I have reason for concern, right? So it's scary and I don't want to spend the time. There are lots of reasons why I'd rather not do these things, but you know, I have to do it. So what is it you're avoiding? And why? Maybe you need to start there. If you're avoiding something, why are you avoiding it? Yeah, colonoscopy, not so much fun. Got to drink that stuff, you know, can't eat, yuck, right? Then you got to go for the procedure. I get that, seriously, I do. So that's why I'm avoiding it because it just doesn't seem like a very pleasant experience. I'm not really worried about the outcome, but you have to ask yourself, why am I avoiding it? And uh, what is it about this that is scary, uncomfortable, painful, right? And then on the other side of that, you have to ask yourself, why should you do this? Why should you stop avoiding these difficult things in your life? Because it's that why that's going to get you to do it. So why should I go to the doctor? Because I'm worried about this thing and I want to know I'm fine. Why should I have the colonoscopy? Because they say that they can, you know, they can identify colon cancer early and you'll be fine. But if you don't identify it early, you won't be fine. So better to just get it over with, find out and go in your way, right? But maybe it's a decision about a relationship. Maybe it's a decision about um, your work. Maybe it's a decision about whether to spend time with somebody or not. Maybe it's a decision about how you're going to eat going forward or exercise going forward. Whatever it is that feels difficult, make the decision. Make the decision and then take action, okay? So just stop running from the difficult things. The difficult things in life tend to be the most rewarding. So if we get away from doctors and food and things like that, if you're avoiding of dealing with something related to your work, when you do it, you're gonna feel better. When you uh, avoid confronting something in a relationship, you're just going to feel worse. When you confront it and you make a decision, you're gonna feel better. Maybe not right away, 
but you will feel better and it's going to give you the freedom to keep moving forward because the thing is the more that we worry about these difficult things that we have to deal with they're there in the back of our mind anyway right even when we're not thinking about them we, maybe you don't feel like you're worried about it yeah, I don't think about the colonoscopy all the time but you know it's there in the back of my head Nina you're supposed to do this and it's using up energy mental energy emotional energy and that drains your physical energy and you don't want that to happen so you want to have all your energy every day so we have to confront these things and get them out of the way just deal with them so whatever is difficult in your life you know, make a list of all the things that you've been avoiding that feel difficult feel painful feel stressful make a list of them and begin checking them off confront them deal with them make the decisions and take action you're going to feel so much better you're going to have more energy you're going to feel more alive this is something I'm working on myself. I've got my list and I'm starting to check those things off. So I hope you'll do the same. And you're gonna feel better afterwards, you really will. I know it may not feel good in the moment, but you'll feel better by confronting it and moving on, okay? I'm Nina Amir, I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I'm a certified high performance coach as well as an author coach. And I would love to help you get from wherever you are now to where you wanna go, to, to get clarity, to have courage, to have energy. And with all of that, you're gonna be way more productive and you're gonna feel uh, like you can go out and conquer the world and that you can take action on your, on your dreams. And that's the biggest thing. So we have to learn how to influence ourselves. And these are things I would love to help you with. So if that's of interest to you, go over to ninaamir.com and click on the Certified High Performance link and go scroll down and fill out the application there for a free one hour Certified High Performance Coaching Strategy Session. And let's talk about how you can develop more energy, courage, uh, energy, courage, clarity, productivity, influence, and how you can fulfill your purpose because that's so important for all of us. We're here for a reason. I want to help you fulfill your purpose. And I really believe that when you combine your passion with your purpose, you get inspired and then you take inspired action. And that may be an action that comes from making tough decisions, from handling tough situations, but I can help you do that. So if that's of interest to you, go on over to ninamir.com. As I said, click on Certified High Performance Coaching, scroll down, you'll see the application. And in the meantime, go out there and achieve more inspired results.